disease usually happens out in very rural areas. People who live, live in adobe housing or housing that has thatched roofs. The bug lives in the walls, comes out at night, and bites on the face usually because that's the exposed area. And that's why it's called the kissing bug because it usually bites around the, the lips and also the eyes. Lacked the discovery of the disease for many, many days for the fact that it was delayed in fact, because there were no much work on, on the scientific level on the Carlos Cruz. The whole point of us being here um, for this event is to really raise awareness of Chagas disease and to break the silence amongst the community, um, not only the Hispanic community but the, the governmental uh, community and, and medical community. For the most part, the disease that we see here in the United States is the intermediate or chronic phase of the disease where it's kind of quiet. People don't know they have it, they overall feel okay, and it eventually, in 30 to 50 percent of people who have Chagas disease, leads to the complications of the disease. It's really trying to get the experts together in the room to discuss the different issues of, of treatment and prevention and the cure of Chagas, and how to really um, address the problem that so far has been so completely neglected at all levels, whether government or even on, a, on a, an individual level of people knowing even what Chagas is, right through to governments putting the money and the resources that are required in order to deal with the problem. I, th I think that there's lots of excitement being generated, lots of people who have lots to say, and we've brought together a group of people who can actually do something about making it change.